Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Huawei is a well known technology company in China. In addition to its outstanding performance in the field of smartphones, Huawei also has outstanding performance in many fields such as communication technology and chip design. The Kirin chip independently developed and designed by Huawei is also among the best in the world's mobile phone SoC chips, with excellent performance in all aspects. Not long ago, Huawei released the Mate 60 mobile phone equipped with the Kirin 9000's chip, which has been recognized and loved by consumers around the world. One of the reasons is the excellent performance of the Kirin 9000's chip. Huawei's 5G technology has attracted the most attention in the field of communications technology and the 5G equipment it ships has become the core of many countries' 5G network construction. However, Huawei not only has 5G technology in the field of communication technology, but also wireless technology. For example, Huawei's Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 technologies are excellent worldwide. Huawei's excellent technology has also attracted the attention of some careful people. Just recently, there was news of technology leaks from Huawei. A company called Zunpai Communications has stolen some related technologies of Huawei Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 through various means. Currently, 14 people have been arrested. What is even more unexpected is that Qualcomm recently applied for two urgent patents, which are to enhance the stability of signals and improve the efficiency of wireless communications. It is worth noting that these two technologies are actually related to Wi-Fi 7 technology which are the patented technologies stolen by Huawei. This makes people have to doubt Qualcomm's role in Huawei's patent theft. Zhong, the founder of Zunpai Communications, not only has a US green card, but also worked for Qualcomm for five years, engaged in wireless communication-related technology research and development, and then left Qualcomm to work for Huawei for 10 years. During his tenure at Huawei, Zhong was an uncompromising R&D senior, and his position reached the position of senior R&D director. From this position, it is not difficult to see that Zhong was actually exposed to many core technologies during his tenure at Huawei. Judging from the current news, he was mainly engaged in the research and development of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7 related technologies during his tenure at Huawei. Zunpai Communications stole 46 core patents from Huawei through some unfair means. This incident aroused the anger of many domestic netizens. Many people said, it turned out that they were the ones who stabbed the knife. Zhong, the founder of Zunpai Communications, has experience working at Qualcomm. Among the investors and shareholders of Zunpai Communications, there is another domestic friend, with a shareholding of 11%, and there is also a senior official involved in the decision-making of Zunpai Communications. Layer In fact, it may be a bit speculative to say what impact Zunpai Communications will have behind just based on this information, but there seems to be a lot of coincidences in this matter. Not long ago, 
A friend who invested in Zumpi Communications launched a Wi-Fi 7 product. At that time, some experts were very surprised by this, because judging from R&D investment and technical level, it seemed difficult to make such a breakthrough at this time. However, for things like technology, one is always lucky enough to seize a certain direction or happen to discover a certain technology, so no one paid too much attention at the time. But when something like Huawei happened, it seemed like there was no way to argue. The Qualcomm thing is similar this time. Qualcomm was already suspected and urgently applied for patented technology at this juncture. Although Qualcomm's two patented technologies are not related to the technology that Zunpai Communications has been exposed to have stolen, who knows whether Zunpai Communications stole these technologies, but did not use them, so they have not been discovered for the time being. To be honest, just judging from the current news, it is obviously impossible to confirm that Qualcomm's technology source is problematic, but the coincidence in it really makes people can't help but think about it. What's more, after this incident, Qualcomm disbanded the Wi-Fi 7 R&D team in Shanghai overnight and destroyed all data. It's unclear whether Qualcomm is worried about a similar situation or something else. At present, Wi-Fi 7 technology is at the critical stage of development and improvement, and relevant standards will be formulated in early 2024. What's more, Wi-Fi 7 technology is more critical than 5G and is even one of the focuses of the game. Qualcomm's move will not only cause Huawei it could lose market leadership, and it could affect other things. Qualcomm urgently applied for a patent, disbanded the R&D team in Shanghai overnight, and destroyed all data. Coupled with the relationship between Zunpai Communications founder Zhong and Qualcomm, and the importance of Wi-Fi 7, it is difficult not to make people suspicious. Now let's see the final results of the investigation come out. If you agree with the views of this video, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.